Hi, I'm Nick Driftwood. I'm going to be quickly showing you the remote power control you've got with Lumix Tether for Multicam using the Lumix BGH1 cameras. I've got four cameras here and you can see these lovely little camera icons. If you touch one of those icons, it goes into power standby mode. You get a black screen. Touch it again and uh, the green LED comes back. It was an amber LED and you can see uh, that we're back in the game. Let's just do it with this other camera. This one here, gone to amber. I've turned off uh, I've the, the power functionality. It's now in standby. And um, if I now bring it back in the game, it should go green pretty much immediately. And there we have it, we're back in the game. Uh, and we can commence recording and streaming um, and all controlled via the Lumix Tether, which is really, really cool. You can save power uh, by putting them into standby. If you've got a lot of cameras like I've got here, it's always good to uh, conserve energy. Now, the other little function I'd like to mention, next to the camera icons, you can actually change the order of the cameras. So if you've got four cameras, I've got four cameras here labeled up one, two, three, four. Um, when I bring them into Lumix Tether, depending on what gets seen first by the application, um, you might find the order's been shifted around. You can just quickly use these arrows to change the position of the cameras. Uh, and it's very, very easy to do, as you can see here. And uh, just touch the uh, the arrows, and you can switch between the, their positions. So a really nice feature. The other thing I'd like to quickly mention is, with power, if you do lose power, either battery power or DC in, or Ethernet power, and the light just goes out, the great thing about the BGH1 is, as soon as you apply power or put power back in, whether it be an Ethernet or a battery, um, yeah, I'll just put a battery in actually, why not? You change to battery mode or you'd swap to battery round, you've run out of battery for a, for example, and you can see instantly it's come back on and your uh, settings uh, re have remained and you can get straight into continuing your stream or HDMI, SDI recordings. I'm gonna pull that out. I mean, I don't recommend you do this, but it could happen. Um, and obviously with ethernet as well, uh, the power over ethernet this is using, of course, Let's put it straight in, and then within a second or two, there we have it, the green LED has come back, and you've got full control of the camera again. And hopefully it shouldn't take too long if you update the camera list on screen on Lumix Tether, that the, the full list of cameras comes back into the fray. So there we have it, um, remote uh, power control using Lumix Tether, and uh, we'll just turn that one back on. I think it was off, there it is. All four cameras are back and we're back in the game. Um, so yeah, there we have it. Lumix Tether 4 Multicam and Remote Power Management. Brilliant. Now I must also mention this, a lot of people forget this. On Lumix Tether 4 Multicam, uh, if you want to access your settings, the actual camera settings themselves, the quickest way to do it actually um, is via Lumix Tether 4 Multicam, just by pressing the menu screen and then you can directly change the functionality of uh, or the settings of the camera itself um, by manually doing it and then once you've done them all you can just press the menu turn that menu off again and that sort of gets you into all those intricate settings that you don't get on this particular menu here so really really cool uh, feature to be able to use Lumix Tether for Multicam for one or more cameras